Hello guys and welcome back to Club Penguin Journey. So today is October 27th, 2024. And today the October 2024 catalog has released in the game. And obviously that obviously features Halloween theme decorations. However, there are a good amount of secrets in here. Let's get started with that, by the way. So we have a secret right here for the black scar. And then we have another secret right over here for the ghost costume, which I already have. However, while I am here, I may as well pick up this and pick up this, since they were a part of my main rewritten outfit for Halloween many years ago. And I definitely know we didn't have that last year because I do not remember seeing this costume in here. Well, I can't find any more secrets there. I did find this one right here for the Franken Penguin hat, which I already have. We have another secret all the way over here which is the freaking penguin costume, which I also already have, which is also what I'm wearing. Now this next one's actually kind of clever. We got one right here, and it's actually for the pumpkin basket, which I also already have. And that's all I was able to find on that page. I do know there's one right here for the pumpkin sweater, which I know for a fact that that is custom, so heck yeah, we're getting that. We got another secret right here for the tattered overalls. For the tattered overalls. Whatever you call them. I know that's custom too, so yes. And we got one more secret right up here, which is for the Pumpkin Fall sweater. Definitely just saw that on the login screen. All right, this page has one secret right here for the Pumpkin Kitty Cat token, which we also saw on the login screen. So that's cool. We also got another secret right up here for another one of these really funny shirts. So. I survived the Haunted Mansion, and all I got was this free shirt. Yeah, the Haunted House shirt. <laughs> it's similar to the Club Penguin Journey Shutdown shirt. Dang. They really made another one for this, didn't they? I think they might... I will not be surprised if this becomes a common trend, or a reoccurring trend every once in a while. To be quite honest, I don't see any more secrets here. So, I definitely gonna show you there. there is a secret. Right here. There we go. The LED flashlight, which is from last year's catalog. Pretty cool. And then we got another one up here for the spooky flutter, also from last year's catalog. We have another secret right in the middle of the skeleton costume being the Dark Coast costume, also from last year's catalog, which mainly goes with the LED flashlight. Then we have more autumn styles from last, um, from, you know, the previous month. Well, what I mean by is now we're getting more of them after we got some of them in the last catalog, which is actually pretty cool. And we have a secret down here, ironically, the snow shovel, which I already have. We have another secret all the way over here for the flashlight, which mainly goes with the ghost costume. We also have another secret up here for the love bear onesie. I saw a few people wearing this earlier and I had no idea where it came from, so glad I found it now. Oh, we're not done. Yeah, apparently there is more here than I thought. Okay, I finally found a secret down here. The pilgrim hat. It's freaking cool, if you ask me. Wait a minute! Wasn't this a part of a code last year for Thanksgiving? Why do I feel like we've seen this before? Okay, we have another secret over here for the flower messenger bag. Which looks really cool. And now we got our outfit of the month, which is right here. The timeless ghost. That is super, super cool. Assuming it loads. Oh, come on. Please tell me I don't have to refresh the game. I spent so long getting on this server. Do I want to hear something interesting? There were 900 people trying to get into the Blizzard server for the Gary meetup, hence why uh, there's no video of that. Because I missed it. Because it took forever to get into the freaking game. And now I feel like I'm going to have to suffer that again. Oh, never mind. This isn't that bad. You should have seen it earlier. It was with 900 people. This isn't bad. I'll be back in a few minutes. And hopefully that item will work. Okay, we're finally back in the server. Can we please get that? Thank you! Dude, that took like a good 10 minutes to get back into the server. Well, I also have the penguins at work as well, which is... Oh, dude! I was freaking worried that I would have to refresh again. Uh, the Grape Digger suit and then um, the spectacles. And then I already have the shovel. And then we have all the Halloween backgrounds, which uh, some of these I already have. Actually, that one I didn't have. 
Uh, pretty much... Okay, that one I don't have. And then that one I have. This one I don't have. And then that's just all the fair backgrounds. And then all the flags. And there we go. That's it. Did you really think we were done? Nope. Because this time around, I'm actually going to be merging both catalogs into one video because they both release on the same day. For starters, if we go into the seasonal section, we can see that there are a ton of Halloween themed items spread across the Igloo store, which is actually really, really nice. The same can also be said for the Igloos, such as the Jack Lantern, which I already have, the Shadowy Key, which I also already have, the Dragon's Lair, which I also already have, and the Trick or Treat Igloo, which I also already have. Speaking of which, I should probably just change it to one of those igloos now. All done! So, we don't have any new igloo locations, but... We also don't have any new flooring either. And then, we just have all the furniture items that we just saw. And then, we do have some pretty cool wall items that we just saw earlier. Now, as for the igloo store... This is going to be interesting. So first, we have Haunted Disco. Which, of course, is the one that plays in the nightclub. Then we have Disco Ween, which plays in... <clears throat> at least... I think the Dance Lounge? Although that might be unimagined, though. Monster Masquerade, which plays in the Dark Chamber. And then Ghost Just Wanna Dance. The instrumental version. Pretty cool. Then Spooky Jazz. This played in the mine last year for the black and white theme. So that's pretty cool. Woodwind Waltz is the one that played in the Forest and Cove last year and then plays in pretty much all the inside rooms this year. And then Dark Stormy Night. This plays in almost all the outside rooms for the Halloween party, which is honestly so freaking cool. Then we got Spectral Sorry. Which this plays in a handful of rooms. It's pretty cool. And then Trembling Treehouse. And there we go. We now officially have all of the songs. So, for the sake of this, I will play Dark Stormy Night. And there we have it. I'll most likely just decorate my igloo off camera, to be honest. And I'll probably showcase it in a future Chilling on Sleep PS episode. Okay, I almost thought the puzzles didn't load for a second. <laughs> Thank God. Okay, we have a postcard. Ah, nice. I know, though. Well, guys, that wraps up this episode of Club Penguin Journey. So guys, if you guys enjoyed, remember to like and subscribe. Now, the next Club Penguin Journey video is most likely going to be on October 28th for another pin and another newspaper. Then we'll be back a day later for another Gary meetup, since I just missed this one because it took forever to get into the server. So, the next meetup's on the 29th, so hope you guys don't mind the wait a little. Anyway, see you next time.